Hi Aquarius, my sun sign brothers and sisters. Welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, so my readings, my taroscopes are for your sun, moon and ascendant. And I always advise that you watch all three because it's gonna give you a clearer idea and picture of how these speak to you. I utilize the astrology and the numerology of the cards to kind of bring you your messages. And very often I will talk about and blend in the larger transits that are taking place uh, at any given moment. Uh, so with that said, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit the subscribe button if you are already a continued subby, you know Rafa loves you for it. So before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So remember as well uh, no, i need to tell you i have a new channel if you uh it's dedicated solely to guided meditations and uh, visualizations if you wanted to meditate more this year or you decided to learn or you wanted to dedicate more time to your spiritual path or practice hit the link in the description box below i work really hard on them and i truly hope that you love them so your key to the week is the sun card finally right some bloody good you see i'm so, so anxious for some good news for aquarian people uh if you know anything about astrology you know that the fixed signs aquarius taurus uh Scorpio and Leo are going to get smashed this year. Um, there's no way around it. We are going to feel the energies of 2021 more than anybody else, right? So whether it's your sun, moon or rising, you are going to feel a lot of 2021's astrology. But the fact that we have the sun card this week is kind of like a mitigating factor, right? It suggests that a lot of the things that maybe could have been really intense might not be as intense as they could have been. The sun is joy, life, heat and passion. It brings a spotlight to you. Now, although we're not quite there into Aquarius season yet, I do find it interesting that we have the sun card this week because it's kind of like that prelude to, to being illuminated, right? And the sun card is about fun and youthfulness and joy and vibrancy and vitality. And it also, whenever I see this card, I always say to people, it diminishes your challenges and it enhances your blessings. The sun card is the only card in the deck that doesn't have any other meaning. It's always positive. Whatever it touches, it enhances, or like I said, it diminishes the challenge. For our actions and options this week, we have the two of pentacles. There is a sense of growth, expansion, and even abundance this week that could be permeating through you and it looks like this week my dear Aquarian brothers and sisters you are going to be very focused on making a very material or practical decision now what I like about this is it's coupled here with the Sun and this suggests that a decision that you're making in your material life, whether this is about your home, whether it's about your job, whether it's about something that you want to buy, this basically says you will have the clarity of mind that you need to make that decision. You might not necessarily be acting on it now, but there's definitely good, you know, like, there's good energy, right, abound for you. And then for your communications and conversations, all right, we kind of expected it, right? We've got the Five of Swords. Now, remember, by the time we get to the end of this month, Mercury is going to be retrograde and he's going to be retrograde this year in the air signs, starting with, yep, you guessed it, Aquarius. So we're going to feel this energy probably more than most. Now, the fact that we have the Five of Swords here, what I will say, communication has the potential this week to be a little bit hit and miss, right? We've got the Sun card, which is kind of lessening the blow, but it does suggest that there's going to be uh, there may be some interesting conversations or maybe even somebody hears one thing and you've actually said something else or maybe you've, you've said this and somebody hears that. Uh, just be aware of that energy this week. Now, for those of you that are employed by somebody else or a company, etc., you could um, you could finally see some sort of a, a conflict resolution this week, which is actually really nice. Um, so tap into that. If there's something that needs to be resolved or clarified, this would be a good week to do it. Um, 
<laughs> yeah, this would be a good week to do it. I would say personally, uh, resolution, right? Re, retro, retrograde, anything with a re. Uh, so maybe not necessarily embarking on something brand new, but definitely finding the the energy, the strength, or the clarity to resolve something is definitely possible for our. Um, for those of you that own your own businesses, solopreneurs, entrepreneurs, uh, again, there might be some conflict that comes up this week that needs to be had because it's gonna push you in a new direction. It's gonna make you, it, you know, effectively it will make you uncomfortable enough to make a good change. Uh, and I actually really like this for us, to be honest with you, you know, for those of us that work for ourselves and stuff, it looks like something is gonna either annoy you enough to make a change about it, or you may be having a dialogue or a conversation where somebody highlights something to you that at the time, it's maybe a little bit uncomfortable, but then after you think about it, in true Aquarian fashion, you're like, eh, yeah, actually, that's totally logical. No problem, let's do it. <laughs> that's how it tends to work for me anyway, and I, I'm an Aquarius son. Uh, for those of you that are um, uh, retired or no longer working for any reason, this week you could be called upon to help resolve a conflict for somebody else. So you might be dragged into some drama that maybe has nothing to do with you this week, but it's up to you how you deal with that. Just remember, if somebody's asking you to help resolve an issue, it's nothing to do with you. You can be a bystander. Uh, and you know, I think Aquarians tend to be quite good people to do this kind of thing, because we can look at all sides of an argument and say, okay, you know what? Yes, there's truth and logic in what you say, and there's truth and logic in what you say. How are we gonna, do you know what I mean? Find a way to bridge the gap. For our money and materials, we have the Eight of Wands. So news coming from a distance is definitely happening this week. There could be a collaboration on the cards. There could be a money spinning idea that starts to, uh, starts to take shape, that starts to take form, which I actually really like. Um, the fact that it's underneath that Two of Pentacles as well suggests to me that something that has been a long time coming could now start to make itself known. So, you know, this is nice. You could, I mean, when it comes to the finances, the potential to make more money could definitely be starting to shape up as of this week. For uh, your home and environment, um, you might end up with somebody on your doorstep this week, uh, and it could be for any number of reasons. Maybe they've had a fallout with their partner, maybe they had, do you know what I mean? Like it could just be that somebody really needs, needs a friend or needs a place to stay. I don't think it will be long term, um, but I do feel like it will be a little bit of a surprise. <laughs> um, for your physical health and vitality, your hips, your lower back, I can attest to this already actually. Um, your hips, your lower back, that general sort of region of your body you need to look after this week. Do some good stretching. Um, if you sit a lot for work like I do, definitely incorporate that into your uh, workout regime. And then for your love and relations, you have the seven of wands. So for those of you that are partnered, I do need to say it does look like whatever the dregs of whatever you've been dealing with in your relationship or your partnership, something might be stirred up this week. Um, maybe you have a disagreement about something that has been said or, and you know, it could start from something really trivial as well. Uh, you know, like you see something on TV and you have this opinion and your partner has that opinion and you end up going at each other. And it's like, for what? For something that we saw on TV, it's just not, it's just not that important. Anything this week that is middle of the toothpaste, you know, some people squeeze from the middle. That's me. Some people <laughs> roll it from the bottom. That's also me. <laughs> Let's see, see that, like the, the squeeze from the middle is my like rebellious um, Uranian sort of Aquarius wrath and then the no, 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 from the bottom, that's like the Saturnian mind that kicks in every so often. It's actually the one that also has me going through the, the house with a black bag throwing things away at random as well. But I digress, you, you get my point. For those of you that are single, um, I will say this, you could be talking to somebody and there could be a lot of chemistry, but it could be one of those connections where you just rub each other the wrong way so that you, do you know what I mean? Like the, the makeup and all of the rest of it could be great. There could be a lot of passion in that regard. I just don't feel like this person may be materi uh, relationship material for you. Just something for you to be aware of. All right, with that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Take care and I will see you soon.